Hey everyone, here is our math problem for today. Let's begin with the semicircle O with diameter AB. Then we draw these three line segments, AD, CD, and BC, where AD is equal to 7, CD equals 15, and BC is equal to 15 as well. We would like to find what is the length of segment AB, which is the diameter of the semicircle. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this interesting Philippine math Olympiad question. Now let's solve this problem together. Since CD and BC are both equal to 15, then we can draw this isosceles triangle. As a consequence, the base angles are equal. Let's assign alpha for the measures of these base angles. If we complete this semicircle into a circle, notice that angle ADB, this angle here, is an inscribed angle intercepting arc AFB. And since AB is a diameter, the measure of arc AFB is half that of a circle, and the measure of this scribe angle is half of that 180 degrees. So angle ADB is a right angle. Let's go back to our semicircle. Let's draw radius OD, and since OB is also another radius, then we'll be forming another isosceles triangle here. The measure of these two sides are equal, both of them are radii of the same circle. Then let's connect OC, OC is also another radius. We now look at these two triangles, triangle OCD and triangle OCB. What can we say about these two triangles? We have here two sides that are congruent, another side here that's congruent to another side, OC is equal to itself. Therefore, by SSS congruence, these two triangles can be proven congruent. Segment CD is congruent to segment CB, segment OD is congruent to segment OB, and segment OC is congruent to segment OC. Therefore, by SSS congruence, triangles COD and COB are congruent. And since they are congruent, their corresponding parts are also congruent. So we can now say that these two angles here are congruent, and let's assign beta for the measure of the angles. Now, since this is alpha congruent to this alpha here, this beta congruent to another angle beta here, and since the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, then this remaining two angles here also must be congruent. And since we form a straight angle here, these two angles here must be both 90 degrees. And from vertical angle theorem, we can show that all the angles here are all 90 degrees or right angles. Now, as a consequence, we can now show that these two sides are also congruent, either by angle side angle congruence or by the side angle side congruence. Then, take a look at this purple right triangle and another yellow right triangle. They share the same acute angle B here. Both of these angles are right angles. That means their third angles are also equal because the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So all the three angles of the purple and the yellow triangles are equal, making us conclude that these two triangles are similar triangles. And when two triangles are similar, their corresponding parts are proportional. So here's the proportion that we can form. OB, which is the radius over the diameter AB is equal to OQ over AD. OB is R, AB is 2R, and AD is equal to 7. Then R divided by R is 1 half. From here, we can now solve for QO. QO is equal to 7 halves. So this line segment here is 7 halves. Now to find the length of CQ, we know that CO is a radius, QO is 7 halves. That means CQ is equal to the radius minus 7 halves. Let's label now the value here. Then, to be able to use the Pythagorean formula, look at this right triangle here. The square of the leg QB is equal to the difference of the squares of the length of side OB and OQ, which are R and 7 halves respectively. Similarly, Look at this yellow right triangle here. The square of the same side, QB, is equal to the difference of the squares of the hypotenuse and this leg here. The hypotenuse is 15, CQ is R minus 7 halves. Two quantities that are equal to the same quantities are also equal, therefore, we can now form this equation. Then let's simplify. 15 squared is 225, 
7 halves squared is 49 over 4. We have here a square of a binomial that is expanded to r squared minus 7r plus 49 over 4. Then let's remove the grouping symbol. Notice that minus 49 over 4 and minus 49 over 4 can be cancelled by adding 49 over 4 to both sides of the equation and then adding r squared to both sides of the equation and subtracting 7r and subtracting 225 so all the terms are at the left side of the equation here is now the resulting quadratic equation using the quadratic formula we can now compute for the value of r to be equal to 7 plus or minus 43 over 4 so we have here two values for r r is equal to 7 plus 43 all over 4 or 7 minus 43 all over 4. Solving for r for the first equation here, r is equal to 12.5 units. On the other side, r is equal to negative 9. But since r is the radius, we do not accept a negative value for r. So we now know the value of r. We want to find the value of the diameter. So it's just a matter of doubling the value of r. So multiplying 12.5 by 2, we have now the diameter AB equals 25 units. And this is now our final answer. So thank you very much. This is Lando Assistant. And we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.